Right, so let's do the invariant lines of five of this matrix, five, two, one, four. So multiplying the top, I get five X plus MX plus C. And the bottom, I get two X plus four MX plus four C. So that's my Y bit and that's my X bit. So I'm going to substitute that into Y equals MX plus C. So the Y bit is 2X plus 4MX plus 4C equals M times my X bit, which is the top 5X plus MX plus C plus C, which is that bit there. Right, <laughs> let's expand, keep that as it is. Expand that so you get 5MX plus M squared X plus MC plus C. Right, what we've got, that and that can go together, and that can go over there as well. So we're going to get, I'm like, if I bring that 2x across, so I'm get nothing, that and that is going to make just mx, and we're going to have m squared x, and I'm going to have a minus 2x, and... I've still got the MC and the 4C and that are going to make minus 3C. Okay? Right. X, X and X, which means that will factorise to M plus M squared minus 2 times the X. And that bit there will factorise to C and minus 3. Right, so I want, I want all this to be equal to zero, which means that thing in front of x there, that has got to be nothing, isn't it? So m squared plus m minus 2 has got to be nothing, so that tells me that, what's that going to be? This is the trick of it. Uh, plus 2 minus 1, yeah? which tells me that m is minus 2 and our m is 1. All right, so I'm going to have either y equals minus 2x plus c or y equals x plus c. But I also need this thing here to be 0. All right, so c, m minus 3, has also got to be 0. Which, that only works if m is 3. So, if I had the line, let's look at this one, if I had the line y equals minus 2x plus c, right, then that bit would be 0, but that bit wouldn't be 0, would it? So the only way that bit is going to be 0, because m is minus 2, is if that thing itself is 0, so c's got to be 0 as well, right, so c must be 0. So that means, therefore, C must be 0, so Y equals minus 2X. That's one of the lines. Okay? Yeah. The other one, Y equals, that comes from the 1, so Y equals X plus C. But if M is 1, then that bit's not 0, which means I've got to have it to be 0, which means, again, C must be 0. So the other one, so therefore, C must be 0. So y equals x is the other one. Okay? I can't have, I can't use that because if I if I roll y equals 3x, right, then that bit wouldn't be zero, so it won't work. So that bit, that's not included. So there are two invariant lines, y equals minus 2x and y equals x. So every point on that line maps to somewhere else on that line, and everywhere on that line maps to somewhere else on that line. That's invariant points. Excellent.